My dear children, you are all warmly welcome to our Vidya Lakshmi YouTube channel. I am Mrs. Lata from Botany Department. Today we are going to see the very interesting topic that is a pollination. Okay, so this is in the first chapter. What is the pollinations? We know very well pollinations means the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of your same flower or different flower, isn't it? Okay, pollination is a wonderful mechanism which provides food and shelter for the pollinating animals, okay. So that is providing the food and shelter to the pollinating animals, okay. So what are the animals are involving in the cross pollinations, okay. So what is that? That is your pollinated by particular animal species and the flowers are modified accordingly and there exists as your co-evolutions, okay. So what is the meaning of the co-evolutions? You can see here, so here the bird, that is your bird's peak shape and flower shape are similar to each other, okay. That is your co-evolutions, they exhibit your co-evolutions. Co-evolutions, okay, so pollination is a wonderful mechanism which provides food shelter for the pollinating animals. The first significance of pollination, many plants are pollinated by a particular animal species, okay. Example for, so this species, that example for this flower that is pollinating by a particular animal, example for that birds, okay. So that birds are useful for the pollinating in the particular species, okay. And the flowers are modified accordingly and there exist as a co-evolutions between the plants and animals, okay. So, that is a peak and flowers are modified, okay. So, both of, both of them are exhibit a co-evolutions, okay. So, that is a pollinations, this is food and shelter for the pollinating animals, okay. So, what is the pollinations? So, pollination means the definition of the pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of your flower is known as a pollinations, okay. So, the pollination is a characteristic feature of spermatophytes. So, what is a spermatophyte? That is your seed producing plants are considered as your spermatophytes, okay. Seed producing plants. So, either la seed produce pandadhi abdin pathing na gymnosperm and angiosperms are considered as a seed producing plants, okay. The both of them having the ovules, but angiosperm having ovary, okay. So, the ovary with ovule, but in the gymnosperm the ovule is only present, that is a naked ovules are there. Spermatophyte, sperma means that is a seed, seed producing plants. So, what type of pollinations in the gymnosperm? Gymnosperm has a direct pollinations, okay. What is the meaning of the direct pollinations? Here the pollen enter to the micropyle, so through directly enter, actually the pollen is entered to the micropyle, the pollen is entered to the micropyle, so directly so, in this process, okay. So, in the gymnosperm, the pollen is direct micropyle enter because that is a naked. Okay, well, so they, they have to naked ovule are present. So directly enter into the micropyle. Okay, what about in the angiosperm? In the angiosperm, so that is not directly enter. Actually, the pollen grains are shed on the stigma that is undergoing the germination to form a pollen tube. The pollen tube is slowly enter into the so ovule, enter into the embryo sac. Okay, well, so enter into the embryo sac through the micropyle. So this is considered as the indirect pollinations. Okay, this is the indirect pollinations. That is a direct pollinations. So a, a gymnosperm has a direct pollinations and Angiosperm has a indirect pollination. And what is a chasmogamy? Chasmogamy is nothing. Majority of the angiosperm, the flowers are open and expose the anthers and stigma. Okay, all the floral parts are that is exposed, especially the male and female sex organs are exposed. Okay, to the say, environment that is the angiospermic, the characters of the angiospermic flaws. Okay, such a flaws are considered as a chasmogamous flaws. That phenomenon is known as a chasmogamy. Okay, so it means that is the essential organs are exposed. Okay, it's mature the anther and stigma for the pollination. So, exposed rachina, stigma and anther that is involving in the pollinations. Okay. So, clistogamy means that is a pollinations occurs without opening and exposing the sex organs, okay. Well, actually, this type of flowers are closed flowers, okay. They cannot open, 
okay so that uh, pollination everything is takes place that's inside the bud so bud like structure so that is known as a clistogamy in other plants the pollinations occurs without opening and exposing the sex organs that are male and female sex organs that is androecium and gynoecium are so not exposed okay everything in the closed condition such a flowers are called clistogamous or the phenomenon is called that is a clistogamy okay you can see here this is your a clistogamous floss okay chasmogamous floss this is a chasmogamous floss this is a clistogamous floss the clistogamous consists of aerial floss and another one is a underground floss so here we can see this is a underground floss and what are the difference between the clistogamy and another one is your chasmogamy okay chasmogamous clistogamous difference so chasmogamous means the production of the flowers that open okay and as they exposed to the reproductive organs allows the cross pollinations okay if it is open definitely the sex organs are exposed okay so which is in which is uh, that is here yeah, very good for that cross pollination so okay reproductive organs and allow the cross pollination so chasmogamous clistogamous difference the first one is a production of the flowers that is open so as to expose the reproductive organs and allow the cross pollination so what about here in the clistogamous here the conditions having the small unopened self pollinating flowers okay that is unopened so definitely the cross pollinations will not occur okay that is a bisexual flowers so they can do the self pollination so next one is a large and more prominent okay the size of the flower is very very large and prominent okay the very small and indistinguishable we cannot distinguish the so that is the floral characters and have a bright colors we can see the bright colors here we can see the less colorful okay if it is underground that is a colorless flowers okay so this is the underground that is a colorless flowers this is a colorless flowers have petals and petaloid to attract the pollination that's a colorful so definitely that attracts the pollinations for the attract the animals for the pollinations or insects for the pollinations okay which is attract the animals for the cross pollination so generally they don't have a petals okay so uh, they don't have a petals if it is there that is here colorless or it may be a dull in color open and show we exposing the reproductive structures to the outside okay it's a very very so open that is your attractive for each and every organisms that is a show we means attractive exposing the reproductive structures in outside so remain closed and hidden that anthers and stigmas are never exposed okay but it may be a closed or it may be opened in little so definitely the male and female sex organs are that is in the hidden place okay record external pollinating agents okay they need the so external pollinators for the cross pollination so they do not require external pollinating agents okay they can do by themselves because already that is closed that is a bisexual flowers so mainly undergoes the cross pollinations okay ma'am so this is mainly undergoes self pollinations okay so that is a cross pollinations that is your self pollinations also takes place in the chasmogamous flowers and cross pollinations also will occur both pollinations will takes place in chasmogamous but only the self pollination is occur in the that is a clistogamous flowers okay so these are all the difference between the chasmogamous and clistogamous flowers so next one is your self pollinations and cross pollination what are the main difference between the autogamy and allogamy okay so autogamy means the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of a same flower so that is the self pollinations okay so anther to stigma of a same flower is considered as a self pollinations so this is your anther to stigma of a same flower that is a self pollinations okay the transfer of pollen grains from so anther to stigma of a different flower in the different plants so that is known as a cross pollinations that is known as a auto allogamy okay this is the autogamy so that is a allogamy allogamy abingra the cross pollinations okay so next we are going to see some adaptations of that is a uh, self pollinated flowers in order to promote the self pollination the flowers of the plants have several adaptations okay so the adaptations of the flowers that adaptation is only promote the self pollinations the first one is a clistogamy already i explained so clistogamy means that's a greek word that is a clisto means that is a 
closed. So gamos means that is a marriage, okay, closed marriage. It means that is a the male and female sex organs are very closed to each other in a flower. So all, that is closed by the, that is a non-essential flower, floral parts, okay. So that is a, a pollination will occur in the same flower. So that is known as a Clistogamy, okay. So definitely the self pollination is occur. So due to the arrangement of the floral parts, okay. Example for commonlia, viola, and axolis are example for that. So in the in the flower level, the all close pani So cross pollination is not possible. So only that uh, self pollination is only possible here. And next, that is your best example is a commonlia bengalensis. Okay, commonlia bengalensis is here. So that is a closed flowers, okay. It has a two type of flowers, one is the aerial flower, another one is the underground flower. So aerial flowers, when they come up here, it is very brightly in color, aerial flowers, the chasmogamous. So this is the insect pollinated flowers, okay. Not only insects, that is the most of the, so insects, that is the entomophily pollination will occur here, that is the insect pollinations, okay. The underground flowers, you can see here, so this is your, subterranean branches of the rhizome that are dull and clistogamous flowers. Okay, chasmogamous means that is a opened flowers. Clistogamous means that is a closed flowers. Okay, see in a plant we can see the two different type of the flowers. The aerial flowers are the chasmogamous and the underground flowers are that is a the closed flower. That's a clistogamous in conditions. Okay, so that is undergoing the self pollinations. In a cross pollination or in a self pollination circle because the flowers are open, here the flowers are closed. Okay, so that is a cell pollinator not dependent upon the pollinators for the pollination. You can see the picture. So this is the underground flowers and that is the aerial flowers. It's a very, very important uh, one more question. So commonly a Bengalensis, which one is the aerial part, which is the underground part. Okay, the aerial part is the chasmogamous, underground part is the clistogamous. So next another character which is promote the self pollination that is a homogamy okay what is a homogamy so that is a essential organs that is a male and female sex organs are mature at the same time that is known as a homogamy okay where it has a flower example for the mirabilis okay jalaba and catherandus roseus so we can see that the male and female sex organs are mature at the same time so definitely that cross that self pollinations will be occur okay that's a homogamy means that is a mature at same time the both sex organs are matured at the same time and another one is incomplete dichogamy dichogamy means that is a male and female sex organs are matured in different time that is known as a dichogamy okay so in, incomplete dichogamy the dichogamy is not incomplete the best example for that so that is the Salvia plant, this is a salvia plants, okay, the both of them is here, salvia, salvia is your best example for that is here cross pollinations, okay, that is a insect pollinated flowers. In dichogamous flowers, the stamen and stigma of the flower at mature different time. Sometimes the time of maturation of these essential organs, it may be overlap, okay. Example for that uh, anther is matured very earlier, that is closed or overlapping by the, say, any other part of the flower, okay. So, the matured ayurko and other one close ayurko. Overlapping air, self pollinations, cross pollinations, is here, okay. Upon this is here, promote the self pollinations. So cross pollinating, another one we are going to see the cross pollinating. So what we discussed before, so that is a self pollinating, promote, self pollinations promoting adapt, the adaptations, uh, uh, some of the adaptations promote the self pollinations, okay. So what we study, the first one is here, clistogamy, okay. Self pollinations and cross pollinations. So in order to promote the self pollination, the self, -poll self pollination is promoted by clistogamy number one and number two is that is a homogamy, number three is the incomplete dichogamy, okay. So incomplete dichogamy that is a, a male and female a sex organs are mature in the different time, okay. Next is a cross pollinations we know very well, the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of your different flower that is considered as a cross pollination. So you can see here, so this is considered as a cross pollination, but a self pollination means, so the transfer 
of a pollen grains from anther to stigma of your different flower okay that is a cross pollinations and another one is called that's a jetinogamy so it means the transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of your so different flower in the same plant so that is known as a jetinogamy okay that is not a autogamy so jetinogamy is also a type of the autogamy autogamy abingada transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of a same flower ore flower la vandu exchange aachu abina adu vandu autogamy okay if it is transfer from one flower to another in the same plant that is known as a jetinogamy So next we are going to see some of the adaptations. The adaptations uh, promote the cross pollinations. Okay, what are the adaptations promote the cross pollinations? The first one is a diclini, so that is a unisexuality. Second one is a monoclini or bisexuality, and third one is a dicogamy, protandry, and protogyny. And the another one is a hercogamy, and next one heterostyly, diastyly, or dry styly. Okay, the last one is a self sterility or self incompatibility. So first we are going to see the diclini. Okay, so the diclini means here we can see the so that is your only the male flowers or female flowers. We can see the only one sex organ in the plant. Okay, so that is a monoecious. The male and female flowers on the same plant. Monoecious na male and female flowers in the same plant. That's a coconut, bitter, and gourd. So in plants like castor, mice, that is autogamy is prevented, but jetinogamy is takes place. Okay, wow. So autogamy, I bring you the pollinations between the anther and stigma of your same flower. Okay. So that one, the one flower la, one the pollinations na da kade, but one the different flower la pollination na da kon different flower of the same plant la pollination na da kon. That is a jetinogamy is takes place. And this is a dioecious means the male and female flowers in the different plants. Okay, so there's a borosus, carica, and a phoenix. Okay, phoenix. These are all examples for the dioecious plant. So here, both autogamy and jetinogamy are prevented. Okay, wow. So because that a male and female in the different plants. So apni irkom bodo ang autogamy na dakkade, jetinogamy yon irkade. So next one is a monoclini or bisexuality. Okay, so monoclini means the flowers are bisexual. And a special adaptation of the flowers, which is prevent the self pollination. So self pollination prevent that, you know, definitely the cross pollination so not occur. Flowers are bisexual, and special adaptations of the flowers, okay, prevent the self pollination. That's a dicogamy. So already we studied, it's a incomplete dicogamy. Dicogamy means that is your sexual organs are matured in different time. So example for the protandry. So what is the meaning of the protandry? Protandry, abdi na. So that is andry means that's a androecium. Okay. So it means the stamens are matured. The stamens are matured in different time. Okay. The stamens are matured very early. Here the stamens are matured very early. Okay. The stamens are matured earlier than the that is your male female sex organs. That is a stigma. Okay. That's a helianthus and clerotandrium. Protogyny means that the gynecium is matured. Example for the stigma is matured earlier than the stamens. Okay, अब रेंड दो different type इतने matured आखम बोलते हैं अगर self pollination is not possible. So definitely the cross pollinations will be occur. Okay, Scrofularia nodosa and another one is the Aristolochia bracteata. Okay, these are all the example for so that is a monoclini or bisexuality. You can see here. This is the protandry. Protandry means that the androecium or mature. This is androecium or mature very earlier than the styl. Styl mature agar ke monnaale stamen mature aayro second da mande na the. So styl mande mature agar. So inga pati na stigma is mature. Then the stamens are mature. Okay. So first year mature uh, sting, stigma is first mature. That is then the stamens. Okay. So stigma is matured earlier than the stamen. The stamens are matured earlier than the stigma. The next one is a hercogamy. The bisexual flower, the essential organs. In bisexual flowers, the essential organ, the stamen and stigma, are arranged in such a way that is arranged in different way. So that is known as a hercogamy. Okay. So gloriosa superba is a, that is a uh, our state, Tamil Nadu, the state flower of Tamil Nadu, gloriosa superba. Okay, it's looking very beautiful. So gloriosa is a happy. Uh, that's superb. It's a looking very beautiful. Then only that is name is here, gloriosa superba. The style is reflexed away from the stamens. You can see the style is reflexed opposite. Look, style one. Okay, this is the one end. That is another end. 
So male and female sex organ in the different end. So that a cross pollination is only that is yeah, possible for that. Okay, self pollination is not possible. And another one is a hibiscus. So hibiscus, the stigma is just away from the stamen. So that is your yeah, uh, self pollination is not possible. Cross pollination is only occur. Okay, and next one is a heterostyle. Actually, length of the styles are different. Some plants that produce the two or three different form of the flowers that are different in their length of stamens. Okay, so a yeah, single plant produces a different type of the flowers. Each and every flower has a different length of the style is there. Okay, so that is a pollinations will take place only between the organs of the same length. Apa enna idonga same length leerko kuriya so organ ke dalada pollinations vandu nadako. So that is uh, uh, promote the self. Uh, Cross pollination, they have to prevent the self pollination. So, diastraily, that is a plant produces a two forms of the flowers. So, one flower has a pin or long strail. So, another flower has a thumb eyed or short strail. One is a long strail, one is a short strail. So, another one is a long stigmatic papillae, another one is a small stigmatic papillae. So, papillae is a outgrowth. Okay. Stigma is a long arc, stigma is small arc. Short stamens, stamens are very, very short. Here, the stamens are very, very long. Okay. Small pollen grains, pollen grains is also very, very small. So, here, that is a long pollen grains. So, that is a very uh, small amount of pollen grains. Here, we can see the large amount of pollen grains. This is the difference between the diastraily in that uh, two different type of the flowers. Okay. Long style, this is a short style. And primula, another different primula, the stigma of the thrum eyed flowers and the anther of the pin lie is same level to bring out the pollinations. A penna the abdin patina, thrum eyed flowers, anther of the pin lie, same level, and the same level are going to pollination. So, in the patina, stigma of the pin once and they found the same height. This is helps in the effective pollinations. Okay. Next one is a dry strily, dry strily, it has a three type of. Uh, that is a styles. We can see the three type of the styles. Okay, you can see there. So here there's a small style. Another one is here long style. If you are looking at the style long, there is a style one that is somewhat moderate, normal style. Okay, that is the short style one. Okay, ma'am. So this is a long style. The style is very very long. So here this is a normal style. And here the style is very, very uh, small. Okay, tri -strily. It means three different length of the style we can see in the flower. So that is a tri -strily in conditions. Okay, the plant produces three kinds of the flowers with respect to the length of the style and stamens. Okay, based on the style and stamens, we can see the different length. Here the pollen from the flowers of the one type can pollinate only the other two types, but not their own type. Okay, wow. So, either the pollination so either that is depending upon the neighbor flaws. Okay. So, you can see here, so this is the this height is uh, that is suitable to the third one. Okay. So the pollination will occur from the first floor to third floor. Okay. Then pollination will occur from the second floor to third floor to second floor. Okay. Then so third to fourth. So, the pollination is not takes place in the same flower, which is depending upon the other flaws. Okay, that is a dry style in condition. So, finally, we are going to the self sterility or self incompatibility. Okay, self sterility. Sterility means so they cannot reproduce the young organs. Any organism they can reproduce the, they cannot reproduce the young organ. So, that is a, some plants when the pollen grains of your flower reaches the stigma of the same, it is unable to germinate or prevented to germinate on its own stigma. Okay, ma. So, some of the plants when the pollen grains of your flower reaches the stigma of the same time, it is unable to germinate okay, or prevented to germinate on its own stigma. Okay. So, that is the uh, prevented, the self sterility. Actually, when the pollen grains when the stigma mala on the bulu, but when the stigma when the enna panna, the germinate panna, allow panna. That is example for abutilon and passiflora. Okay, it is your genetic mechanism. And your own stigma, so own pollen grains, so own stigma on the accept panna. Okay, that is uh, some chemical changes. Okay, due to that, so they cannot occur. That is example for abutilon, passiflora. It is a genetic mechanism. Due to the genetic mechanism, it is not possible there. So, okay, children, I hope you could understand this concept very easily. So, we will meet in the next class. Thank you. So, if you like this video, please like it, share it and subscribe it.